The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Today we have a book named The Very Hungry Caterpillar, Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. In a sunlit garden teeming with life, a tiny caterpillar named Carl embarked on a remarkable journey of growth and transformation. Carl had an insatiable appetite, consuming everything in his path with boundless curiosity. But little did he know that his voracious hunger would lead him on a path of unexpected friendship and wondrous change. As the days rolled by, Carl's appetite seemed insurmountable. He munched through juicy apples, plump strawberries, and even a piece of chocolate cake. His journey through the garden was a colorful adventure, with each meal leaving him fuller and more content. But as Carl's belly expanded, he felt a sense of unease. His once vibrant garden now seemed empty and barren. The fruits and leaves he had devoured were gone, leaving behind a sense of longing and emptiness. One day, as Carl rested on a leaf, he noticed a wise and gentle butterfly named Bella fluttering nearby. Bella had seen the caterpillar's journey unfold and admired his determination. She landed beside Carl, her wings shimmering in the sunlight. Hello, dear caterpillar, Bella greeted with a smile. I've been watching you explore the garden and feast on its treasures. Tell me, how do you feel after all these meals? Carl looked down at his plump body and sighed. I'm not sure he replied, his voice tinged with uncertainty. I ate so much, but I still feel like something is missing. Bella nodded knowingly. Carl, my friend, perhaps it's time to consider a different kind of nourishment. The garden has more to offer than just food. It holds beauty, connection, and the magic of transformation. With Bella's guidance, Carl began to explore the garden in a new light. He marveled at the delicate petals, the dance of the butterflies, and the songs of the birds. He discovered the joy of sharing stories with fellow insects and the warmth of companionship. As the days turned into nights, Carl's friendship with Bella deepened. He learned that nourishing his heart and soul was just as important as filling his belly. And as he embraced this new understanding, something miraculous began to happen. One morning, Carl awoke to find himself encased in a delicate cocoon. The world around him had transformed, and he felt a sense of peace and anticipation. He knew that his journey was far from over. It was merely taking a different form. Weeks passed, and Carl's cocoon began to crack open. With gentle determination, he emerged as a breathtaking butterfly, his wings adorned with vibrant colors that mirrored the garden he had come to cherish. Bella greeted him with a joyful flutter of her own wings. Welcome, dear friend, she exclaimed. You have transformed, just as the garden transformed you. Carl gazed at his wings in wonder, a sense of fulfillment filling his being. He realized that his journey had been about more than just feeding his hunger. It had been a journey of self-discovery, growth, and the power of friendship. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.